Ken Does Games. Greetings, fellow action scientists. Welcome to Quantum Conundrum. Yes, that's right. This is a game of science. And so we will be scientific. And in that vein, I have taken the liberty to experiment with the format of this show. Please tell me in the comments below what you thought of my intro. And should you stick around long enough for it, the outro, which is quite awesome, I do feel. My name is Gin. I will be your host in this little foray into fun. This is a platforming first-person puzzle game. Shall we begin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I did was check the first beginning bits to Once see if it worked. Once upon a time. That's how these things usually start, yes? That is correct, yes. A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. Someone's full of himself. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claimed. Mm -hmm. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my... Uh, the, the brother's doorstep. I'm sure he's not now quite you, so aggravating. I mean, the boy had visited Quadrangle Manor, on a few occasions, each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. That's pretty cool. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. Also pretty cool. Except for the boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Where you at, dude? Well, we'll just have to find you now, won't we? Just one. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't really matter Honestly, that much. If I configure the transdimensional velocity regulator at approximately 0 0.887 microseconds past the... Blah, oh, blah, blah. you're here? Yes, yes I, I have am. the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Excellent. Unfortunately, I'm a bit <laughs> indisposed at the moment. Well, how about you show up over here, dude? If you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. I will do that, sir. Let us head into the foyer. With a push of the button. If it lags a little bit, by the way, I apologize. I did everything I can to fix that. Oh, you confounded machine. Ugh. Don't blame the machine, that? man. Is that you? Man, you look pretty cool. And that glove is pretty cool, too. I want it. You're pretty fancy, man. What's this book you got here? This is... The, Wid the Wizard of Osmium. My favorite. Yes, a favorite childhood tale of everyone. Oh, this good. Uh, that should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Yes, indeed. So where on earth did I put that? Eh. 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 Grumble, grumble. Fine. Give me that. Oh, yes. I'd forgotten. You're, you should be able to use your luggage to give you an extra boost. I got it, dude. I am smart. S-M-R-T. Oh, no, 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 no! What happened? Ah! You okay, dude? Whoa. Whoa. Uh, the world's gone crazy. The world is going to hell, and I'm the only thing that is sane. Make it stop. Alright. Wait, what just happened? It's dark now. Uh now the security uplink on my watch still seems to work so i can see you and hello you you, you can hear me right yep jump around a bit if you can all right fine i am ah, jumping it seems as if i can still tap into the intercom system so it would seem well i most certainly can do better than this testing 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 good there. night you are <laughs> much better <laughs> now what in the world are you doing here? Visiting Were you, you bro. supposed to be here today? Yep. No matter. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, what is we're this still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. You are someone Do who me likes to use big words. Yourself a Just because you can. And head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. Is that through this door? Yes, it is. Onward. 
best replace my broken luggage. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then... I don't know. I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Unfortunately, the front door <laughs> will remain in lockdown until you can restore the power. Henry to the eighth. Best book. And this is... Eh. Upside down. Mansfield Pulsar. I don't need, I don't get that one myself. Oh well. The Call of the Wild Binomial. Man, you have the best books. Power button. Can't turn it off. Oh well. It's kind of a pointless hallway, isn't it? If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Ooh. There's some pretty lights. Well, I guess we're heading this way. Ooh. One. Or perhaps a finger bang. I want this glove. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Throw that switch there. Ooh. It should be the one. That's the glove. I can has. Please. I appear to be grabbing videos off to the side. How many can I grab from this angle? That many. Ah, oh, well. To the switch. Lights. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Contrivances. Just uh, take the glove in the box with you. Sweet. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. Okay. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, mm -hmm. or IDS device for short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did not mean to take that. I guess this is actually a level select screen. Cool. What's over here? Button. Blueprints to open up the research and development lab. Okay, I guess this is when you unlock levels, you can come back and try them again. Cool beans, sir. If you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. Mm -hmm. It seems uh... as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. I'm busy, man. The mustaches. They're so glorious. It's quite the collection you have here, too. Can I take one and wear it? I kind of want the villainous curly cue here. Oh, well. Any books here to look at? Nothing interesting. What is the point of these shelves? This is silly. That is the point of this There's show. There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few uh, adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean, hey. visited. Why do you have multiple copies of this? Do you, like, do you, since the house is so big, you need to... Oh, never mind. There it is again. You just like having the same book around, don't you? All right, whatever. That fish is quite the dish. Can I go in here? Button? Ah, switch! Onward. Science? Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. Uh -huh. I've been able to develop All a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Gimme. 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 <sighs> Alright, so travel through rifts, right? Whatever. Gimme that face. This is your ice ray, which is currently stuck in ice. Lovely. I wonder if that's on purpose. Hope it's on purpose. Yeah. Can I break this at all? Yeah! Destruction of property that you can't do anything about! <laughs> yeah. No. You must be destroyed. That wasn't much of a noise. Whatever. You may live. For now. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Cool beans. Book. Same book. Lord of... Time Lord of the Rings. Excellent. 
I do like Time Lords. A man in the FE60. <laughs> ah, lovely. Iron jokes. What is that noise? Doesn't sound like it belongs in the music. Oh well. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. Cool. Can I wear this? <sighs> you disappoint this me, sir. This door is using one of my inventions. The repetitive, periodic, articulating Gruy Day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. The drinky, drinky bird. You are amazing, sir. You just look fantastic now, don't you? You know, you deserve something better. A better name than Drinking Bird. Like... Bob. No, no, too simple. Bobbington. Sir Bobbington. The third. Well, Sir Bobbington, I look forward to working with you. Oops. I hope that wasn't important. Oh, oh. I get it. I know in advance what to do. Yeah. Sweet. See, I'm smart. Oh, not smart enough. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility. You seem and grumpy. And the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. You're just mad that I don't have, or that I have to have it in the first place. What goes here? We're missing a kitty painting. Can't grab you. All right, fine. Onward. Ah, the lag. The lag will not be going away, unfortunately. A shift in perspective. Unless someone else has a suggestion for that. If you have suggestions for to help me stop the lag, I would like to hear from you. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Mm -hmm. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. Sir Bobbington. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, mm -hmm. which in this case is Fluffy Dimension. Fluffy Dimension. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is 10 times lighter than normal. So... I can pick up this safe. Which I can't normally touch. That's pretty cool. This place is Though so that looks like a regular soft. scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. Aha! Uh -huh. Well that's useful. Give me fluffy. If you place a heavier object on it, it should generate enough power to open the door. You don't have to tell me these things. Ah, it does close when it's fluffy. Hmm. Books. Man in the Iron Mask. Unfluffy. Picturesque mountains. Okay, it's not gonna change. Okay. Hmm. Where shall we go? Well, I guess we just kind of follow the line. How many copies of the Great Exponentations do you have, man? Jeez. It's like you're a library. All right. There's that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. Desmond? Forget Desmond. Something to note. His name is Bobbington. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. What? Uh, let me try that again. Explain. You remain constant. So no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. Why you gotta say it's a trying personality? What did I do to you? Huh? Oh. Come with me, box. Yeah. I don't think I need it to get up there, but... Oh. Oh. No! Don't crush me! Come with me. I did need it, so that was... Well, maybe I didn't. Oh well. I'm tired of carrying it. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. Aha. This thing up here? 
Right click. That receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. Gloves. Give me the glove. Oh no, I'm grabbing books. Lovely. Mm, give me a book. Fire the book! <laughs> so... Fluffer eyes. Give me that. And we drop it. And then... Unfluffy. Yeah! We're getting this good. As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. <laughs> but not the physics of books, apparently. Wow, it traveled across the room. This uh. is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Mm -hmm. I like this soundtrack. It's a pretty cool thing. Huckin' stuff. Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. That explains all the- Whoa! Oh, I'll need to tune that later. That explains all the extra copies. Well, this seems as good a place as I need to stop. So once again, thanks for watching everyone. Please let me know in the comment section what you think of all the new changes, and indeed this game. I have been Gin, and you have been watching me play a video game. Bye!